Oh, well. Well, my hair's a mess. Whatever. We can go with that. Alright. Let us work on this. Alright, well, until people show up, I do have one thing I need to be working on, which is making nine star fodders. Luckily, I'm ready with one of them. Hey, Mr. Foddy. Alright, so I got one. I need one more. Was it going to be you? I think it was going to be you. Oh, I don't have fodders. Hey, Tyriel and Jova. So today should be interesting, I hope. Today should be interesting. Oh my god, I have no gold souls. What? That wasn't nearly enough. I need one more. Oh man. One more. Alright. Well, we'll use Tiger King. So, just waiting for people to show up and then we'll hop right on into it. Actually, we'll use Luna. Oh my god, give me... This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. I have 10,000 gold souls. This is bad. So I have... I have this... Or I can get the Ultimas, but I need 15,000 gold souls. Hey, Tony. Oh my god. Where am I going to get 15,000 gold souls? I got... I got 3,000. That's not good. Hey. That's not good. Okay. So. It looks like maybe I should have thought about that before I started doing this. All right, let's work on the tier list. Watch this. All right, let's go. So we're going to start with, okay, cover page is fine. General tier list, let's go. So this is going to be dumb. This is going to be dumb. Basically, what's going to happen is this. Sigurd, Bryn, Sig, go straight to the top. Everyone else, uh-oh, uh-oh, there's a cat that's about to jump over. Teddy, I really don't want you to jump here. Rune for Arwen? Well, if you check the tier list, oh, it would even tell you right here, attack or defense break. It would tell you right here. Okay. So now that we've moved these three to S+, Now we kind of get into... What the? I can scroll to the right, but not to the left. Okay, that's great. Tidy, what are you doing? All he did was walk in front of me and then walk back. Oh, duh. Okay, so now we go over here. And so knowing that Valkyrie and Lorelei are like, I don't even know where they're going to go anymore. I don't even know where they're going to go anymore. We'll just move them around for now. All right. So Phoenix, Kurt, Bale stay pretty good. Themis falls down. Haven't, this is not final right now. I'm just moving people around. Azathoth actually falls down. So these seven will stay at the top. It's pretty much going to stay like this. 
No, wait, that's not true. Hodor, Hodor's gonna come up. Skuld or Themis? Why would you ever choose Themis? Themis is not that good anymore. Themis has fallen a lot. In fact, if you want to see how far Themis has fallen, Themis is gonna go all the way down here. Themis is gonna go all the way down here. Alright. So Azathoth can stay there. Alright, we'll keep we'll put these two in A. Uh Arwen probably goes up higher than no. Arwen maybe not higher than them. Uh Tyriel, we're gonna go through it in order. So all of them will be changed in order. And I mean, you put Lindbergh at the top of Peaks, but he's been at the top of Peaks forever. So, all right, let's see here. Detlaf, Mars, Rathondi. Chessia actually comes up a little bit. Wolf Rider turns out to be pretty good. Now, Yig, Yig's coming down. Yig is coming down. Yig is coming all the way down. Nobody likes Yig. So if you stay long enough, or even if you don't stay, um, when the stream is over, if you come on to the website and look, everything will change. Okay, so we're going to go with... Let me see here. Should I put Arwen up... Mm. Mm, okay, I think these, this is a pretty solid listing for the, mm, Phoenix might be lower. Actually, I guess he's fine where he is. You'd put Arwen up? Yeah, okay. She's probably higher than Freya. Aegina still needs help to go up. But we'll move her... Oh man, this stupid thing scrolls too fast. We'll move the here. Hey, Envision. We'll put them at the top of A. They're not good on their own. They're good with Hodor, they're good with Vivienne, they're good with Skuld. But on their own, they're just not good. So they, do, they still do need help to, to be good. I'm not going to bother with changing the notes over here because honestly they don't change that much. Um, Tony, given how far Valkyrie just fell down, I feel like that should tell you. Should we call it general? Mm, I mean, I, get, I understand that. But I'm not sure I want to put it that way. Because I want this to be for PvE, but also for people that do want to... That want to maximize heroes that are good in PvE, but also are at least decent in PvP as well. I mean, I understand the thought process behind that, but I don't want to... I don't kind of want to do that. Oops. Why did she fall? Because she's not that good anymore. And Arwen at least is half decent oops, in PvP if used correctly, so... Hmm. That one's hard to say. Mr. Fadi, I'm asking again, why would anyone want Themis? Look where Themis is. Hi, Boku. Nobody wants Themis anymore. She just... She has uh, absolutely no usefulness anymore. No, that's not true. She's still usable, but she's not very strong. Anyway. Okay, so let's see here. So these three are far and away the top. I think Phoenix can stay. Hey, Minato. I think Phoenix can stay here. He's super good for PvE. Uh, Boku Desu, why not idle on a stage that drops them and just wait? You'll get them in a couple of days or a day. Just because you can make the T4 now doesn't mean 
you need to waste your resources to buy the T4 now. Okay. So we'll keep Phoenix here. He's still at least half decent. Oh god. Oh god. I just... Oh god. This triple samurai boss is hard. Okay. Uh, Phoenix, Kurt, Bale, Hodor, Viv. Okay, so this one will have orders in the tier. Yes. Take it easy, Woku. Okay. Do we prioritize Phoenix over... Mm, for... No, well... Yeah, okay. Something like... Something like this. Something like this. High skeleton toy. Something like this. Bale above Kurt. Uh, okay. Oh, that reminds me, actually. I need to add one thing. Hey, Shadow Beast is. Where are you? Where are you? Here. Okay. Okay, we'll call that. So just to just this is not done yet, obviously, but I'm just gonna put that there. Critique this week. Well, this is more. This is way more important than team critique. Way more important than team critique. Does Kurt fall completely? Ah, uh, Kurt's still really... Hi, Jerky. Kurt's still really good for Planet Trial if you don't have any other damage. Like, he's still really good for that. And for PvP, okay, he's fallen off, but still. I think he's still a, a decent priority for PvE. He's still very strong. In PvP, definitely he's fallen by the wayside, but for PvE, he's still very, very good. Like, you still see pictures of him doing 30 million, 70 million damage. So, as long as he can do that, he still has a place here. I'm gonna rank Vivienne higher because she's better earlier than Hodor is. We'll put Hodor into mid. Can you see that? You can't see that, huh? You can't see that. Okay, well, whatever. Okay, let's go down to S minus as if. Hmm. I'm gonna take. Actually. Shadow Beast, that's the sign that they've done good things with the balance, except that they didn't do the right thing. Because Bryn and Sig just went straight to the top and single-handedly, double-handedly, obsoleted most of the rest of the heroes. So, it's good that the meta changes, but the meta just went to money. Hmm, Hodor? Hmm, okay. Okay, let's put Vivian up top. Hodor does need help. So Vivian does great here. Mm. Okay, let's put Hodor down here because he's really good for general, but for PvP, he'll it will be higher. 
So for now, we'll leave him here. For these... Quite honestly, Azathoth has use, but I don't think he's critical. I feel like you can do so much better with other heroes than him. Yig is tank or Phoenix. Either one is fine. Probably Yig is the most... Well, Yig is expendable. Like, look where we put Yig. I'm throwing him all the way down here. Okay, Wolf Rider, we're going to move up here. Because he turns out to actually be really good. Actually... I'm going to move Wolf Rider up here because Wolf Rider in Den Planet Trial, when you get him there, he makes the front line melt. He's so good versus Verthandi stages or even the Rulia Vivienne stages. Wolf Rider does amazing things. Um, Tony, try that one out. Phoenix is the more default tank, but if Phoenix is dying too fast, you can always use Vivienne. Am shaky. Remember that this is PVE oriented, with only some thoughts to PVP. We are going to do the PVP tier list next. That's not right now. Adele, you really should not be making so many heroes T2 without focusing on one T4 at a time. The team is okay. But you really should focus on Bryn or Yviv to T4 right away. Hi, Lefty. Hey, Nelson, and thanks. Alright, so. How is this for an order? I think this is pretty safe for general purpose. Um, Jerky. Maybe. Wolf would like... I would like some better teammates. For Wolf. Maybe someone that can also stun the front line. That would be nice. Ripper tier up. Mm. Ripper can come to here. He can come to A. But that's about where he's going to stay. Well, hey. Ripper can come here. We're going to move Mars down. Because quite honestly, Mars does not see much use. Uh, Lefty, the problem is if you don't start early on a game with a really good community, it's really hard to get knowledgeable about a new game. Yeah, I don't think I can put Ripper above these heroes yet. So, yeah, okay, we can put... We can put Ripper at the bottom of A. He's not terrible, but... This is probably fine. All right, B tier. We can put Monkey King at the top. We can put Mulan up behind him. Honestly, I'm gonna keep these heres here as long as they have potential use. Um, Willy, with Hodor, you need a speed rune on Aegina. Urthandi better than Lorelei in PvE? Yeah, but Lorelei plays better support in PvP as well. Oops. I'll do that. Um... Or why not? <laughs> Lefty, that's one way to look at it. Let's see here. Let's 
Yeah, okay, we're just gonna leave those for now. Is Lindbergh bad just like that? Lindbergh requires a very, very specific team to be good. You cannot throw him into like 90% of teams. Bale attack? No, death break is better unless you have a Ragnarok. Hodor's gender is male. All right, Vegvisir speed. Werewolf, no, Werewolf's energy denial is very unreliable. You would never build him over anyone else for that. Hey, Julius, look where Yig went. Look where Yig went. Uh, Speed Scold is a thing, but I feel like if you're going to use Speed Scold, you already know more about the game than you need from this tier list. Let's put it that way. Like, you don't need a tier list if you're willing to... Oh, I don't accept any friend requests on Discord. I, I get like a thousand of them. Ultima... So the problem is that when you are... When they need a combo, they... That's it. They... They cannot be good on their own without the combo, and therefore, that lowers their ranking. I cleared all my friends' requests on Discord, and I have like 50 of them again. Okay, let's see. Everyone else here, Watchmen over... Watchmen? I'm not sure what to do with Watchmen. No. You know what? Forget it. Well... Where is Zex? Oh, Zex is down here. Ultima is best with heroes that need to be faster. To... Ultima is best with burst heroes. If you are using Ultima, your goal is to kill them by, like, turn two. And with that in mind, you want to use multiple Ultimas with, like, Sigurd, Kurt, Bale, something, something. Aw, you're going to leave for good. No, C tier is not sorted. C tier is all trash. We are not ordering this team at all. We are not ordering C tier. It is... Nobody cares about this. So we'll, we'll order up to A. And maybe... Yeah, okay. We'll order B. Uh, in which case, Yig comes down here. Yeah, okay. We'll do that. Hey, Ashura. Sp do I act arrogant? I don't know. I think sometimes I get sick of answering questions. Oof. I lost my... Zex... Future for Saw and Den or Planet Trial. If you can find it, show show us. Nobody else has managed to make him good. I mean, I don't mind adding people to... Oops. I don't mind adding people, but... I have no idea. I don't even know who you are. Oh, are you this one? There. Eh. Zex has not been... Nobody has been able to make Zex good yet. As far as Speed Scold... I don't personally know how to use a Speed Scold. I know the concept exists. And in a sense is maybe if... For multiple skulls, you want one to be speed or not. 
but I couldn't tell you how that works. So for general, I mean, this is shaken up a lot. This is shaken up a lot. Look at how far people fell. Mars fell, Themis fell. Wolfrider came up, Agent Valkyrie Lorelei came all the way down here. I mean, when you consider how much that these two heroes destroyed the tears, like this is kind of a painful here painful list to make. This is I'm not sure if A tier counts as recognition, but I guess it's out of trash tier and into like semi useful. So that's probably, I guess that's fair. Uh, Sonar Phoenix has fallen actually. Phoenix used to be in the S plus and then I moved him down to S. Now I know that you have been able to do good in planet trial way better than me, but This actually should be the bright red then. Oops. This should be bright red. How do we... Hmm. Something like this. Uh, Carenti Quill, Carenti Qui. Uh, it's a lot. I don't think anybody has actually written that down it's i mean the last one's like fifteen thousand or something like that b tier is make if you know what you're doing don't make these heroes unless you actually know why you're making them let's see if we can describe that great for team filler usable later in extremely limited situations phase out for stronger options prejudice yig can't be ideal for anything why would Yig ever be good? If you want a tank, just use Azathoth. Yig just... There's a reason Yig fell off. It, it's He stays alive. That's not the problem. The problem that is that his taunt is basically useless. Mars probably could fall all the way down here too. Mars could fall down to C. But I don't want to fodder him. Wolf Rider doesn't need much help to be good. Let me be honest about that. If you have damage, Wolf Rider is good. Period. Okay, well, we can keep him B. His stun is... He's kind of on the edge here. Thirty thousand food and seventy million gold. Okay, we gotta make a list of that one. You think Themis should be A? I heartily disagree with that. Themis is just Themis has become a liability against compared to other stuff. Would I fodder Nameless and Mars? I try not to fodder very rare heroes. The point is, you wouldn't go out of your way to build Themis, though. If you wanted help in PvE, what's your answer? This one right here. This is your answer. One Brynhild is worth like three Themises. Okay. So Freya, should we move Freya up? I mean, Freya is good, but when you consider how much better some of the other heroes are, hey, Brutak. I don't think, I don't think Freya can move up too much. She's also very squishy. Like, 
If they have a Verthandi, she dies turn one just to reflect damage almost. Should you dump Valkyrie? Yes. Aegina, no. Aegina is another combo hero that is really strong with Hodor. As far as converting Themis, I'm thinking about it. I am definitely thinking about it. All right, we don't care about those. You think Phoenix below Hodor? Remember that this is PVE oriented. Well, anybody needs to be T4. Yeah. Uh, Brute hack. Here it is. This is always available and will be updated every now and then. Hodor definitely needs help. Well, he doesn't need help to be defensive. His seed is really good defense, almost period. Valkyrie, you can just straight up dump. I'm done trying to recommend or trying to defend Valkyrie. She, She's good early and that's it. She falls off so hard later on that she's not worth pushing. Aegina is, if you have, let's say, a Skuld and a Hodor, you can use Aegina. But without that, not so much. Valkyrie used to be good. There was a time when Valkyrie was top tier. But that time has sadly ended. You don't use male champs? Well, if you make a team with six Brynhilds, or five Brynhilds and a Skuld, you'll be unstoppable. Um, Julius will be working on that after this. Verth A+, plus? no. Verth is not good later on. Does Hodor combine with Chessia, Aegina, Phoenix, Bale on one team? That's a bit overkill. But remember that Hodor and Phoenix doesn't work that well together. When Hodor fires, he wipes their burn, and therefore you lose the Phoenix bo damage bonus. So Hodor-Phoenix is kind of not the most useful combo. So this is just PvE tier list. Shall we move on? Ekra Vivienne got amazing. She got amazing. She adds defense on her skill now. And her... It stacks. I feel like Veg should be... I don't disagree with that. I don't disagree with that. Hodor's freeze is really, really good. All right, is S minus safe with these three? I almost feel like Wolf Rider can be here. I feel like Wolf Rider could almost move into S minus. Vivian S plus. That's fair too, actually. That's fair too. Best combo team with Hodor? Honestly, Hodor is just good in all teams. If you're trying to make him do damage, then Chessia Aegina. I said Hodor freeze, I meant Veg freeze, but... I feel like this is pretty solid. Vivian is really, really easy to get, so... It's not really a loss to get her. Wolf Rider is actually not super easy to get, but I'm really, I'm really thinking that he could belong here. Uh, Asura, you don't need the poison with Veg. You can use the crit rate. I think you're. So, the thing that you gotta realize is that Aegina and Chessia probably almost top out on Hodor's attack. 
remember that you're capped by Hodor's attack stat. So unless you're using heroes that unless you're using heroes that raise attack stat, it may be a little bit harder to get that kind of damage out of Hodor. Uh, Trollcraft Vivian got a huge buff months ago. A long time ago, she got a humongous buff. Wolf Rider gives up to 100% bonus damage to the front line. Detlaf safely above Valkyrie? No. No. Maybe? Oh, actually. Man. Man, these two have really fallen down. Okay, Lorelei definitely. Valkyrie, I'm not sure about. Detlef. I might not be. I might not be bad. I might agree with this. Mulan is still very good, but still also hard to use. As good as Detlaf, well. Uh, Lefty, once I found out how good her healing was, I was pretty convinced months ago. It was about a month after her update is when I agree is when I realized how strong she was. Her healing was good, but now she gives more healing and defense. And the defense stacks, so multiple Vivienne's is ridiculous. Mulan, Vivienne, Kurt, Azathoth, Skuld, Hodor. Replace Azathoth, Rachesia? Yes. You don't really need Azathoth in that team. Am I Japanese? No. I know Japanese, but I didn't. I am not Japanese. What did they change on Monkey King? They made it so that he revives even with Azathoth's Executioner's Call. And his skill now hits the front line and has a 100% chance to petrify one, 50% chance to petrify a second one. So it no longer hits the back line with whatever 30% chance to petrify. Well, Evan, Monkey King is right here. Prejudice, we don't even know how the new hero works. What if the new hero only hits the back line? What if the new hero hits two random enemies? Oh, whoa, what just happened here? What if... What if the her percentage to stun is really low? I mean, there's no way to guess how good the new alliance hero is going to be. And hi, Nia, Nima. Uh, Zach, you can treat true damage just like attack. It's the same thing. It doesn't go through anything else. Hodor needs Aegina? No. But Hodor needs someone like Aegina if you want to use Hodor for damage. If you want Hodor for defense, you can build him whenever. But he's better with more support. Alright, so Sigurd early... Uh, jerky, honestly, we can get pretty decent testing within a couple weeks. Detlaf with why? Why is Detlaf a good combo with Hodor? Okay, so I think we can move this on. I think I'm pretty happy with where heroes are here. I hope that this does, if anything, I want this to convince people not to pull Val Valkyrie and Miracle Eyes. Fire Pet plus Hodor. I Remember that you still want to cap Hodor, though. Detlav's bleed is not strong. And also, it only hits one person. Why? Why would Hodor benefit from bleed extra bleed on one person when Hodor hits five, 
four. Oops. All right, let me take a look at his bleed. Yeah, his regular attack bleeds. And he deals bleed damage when he hits 70% HP. Big whoop. Poison from pet clears by Hodor? Yes. Uh, Nima, we have... This is B. Hi, MTG. Hodor's rune is, as it says right here, hit rate. Moonstones, I mostly use for star shards. Lefty, how dare you. All right. All right, take it easy, Shadow Beast. I am not touching pet decisions at all. Ashura, I don't know what it takes to cap Hodor's attack right now. Um, Blue Revenge, remember that you can always use Phoenix, Phoenix Stones to convert. Mulan, I'm not sure about A. These heroes... Mm, Mulan is falling because there's not as many mages now, though. Fed Freya for Verthandi. Well, Verthandi wasn't that good, and Freya honestly can is hit and miss anyway. Ty, what does this say to you? Hi, Samo. Okay, let's move on to PvP. So this one is a general build order, but is not PvP oriented. Lefty, when there is this many heroes better than Valkyrie, you can build any of these much easier. Uh, Prejudice, that's up to you. I still like having double Kurtz for Planet Trial, but he's not the most useful. Mulan needs more than one teammate to work. That's the other thing. Verthandi is great on her own. She needs no help. She's still useful in any position almost. But Mulan on her own, with no healing or support, is like whatever. She's okay, but not great. I don't know. This It is tough. It is tough. Kurt, I've moved to here. He's still S. He's still very strong. All right, let's go to PvP. This one's gonna be dumb. This one's gonna be dumb. Okay, Vivian goes up. Kurt comes way down. Themis comes way, way down. Okay, well, we'll start with this. Themis should be trashed here. All right, so for PvP, Hodor comes up. Definitely S+. Plus. Veg is still okay. Valkyrie, Lorelei, Phoenix, Freya, Themis. Oh gosh. Once we get below this, it's like not even worth the effort anymore. Alright, let's see here. Themis is not super strong in PvP. Themis... Okay. Okay, let us see here. Kurt. Do I don't have an S minus? Themis just got outclassed. She's unreliable. I'm not done with the down with the lower tiers. Val Ultima still changes into B tier. The team has to be built around them. Okay, I have to redefine this tiers. Hmm. 
I have to redefine this, these tiers. Okay, so A tier... Uh... In that case, Valkyrie still fits into here. Two Vegas does not win. Mulan stops Veg Vizier so hard, Veg can't get energy after his first skill, and he never fires again. Second Viv or first Wolf? Probably Viv. All right, so these this is far and away the top. Bale of Edge, Azathoth, Azathoth. Okay, fine. Do we want to add an S minus? I'm just gonna copy these out so that I have this, so that I have this color. Oh yeah, Nima, I saw that. Nobody understands how he did so much damage. Alright, so in this one, Aegina comes up. Anyone else come up? Chessia comes up. These two come up. Mm, yeah, okay. Two Skull and one main team, it works. It's not my ideal because you get kind of addicted to having it in one team and then you have to figure something else out for honor. If these two are... Oh God. This one's tough. Like, I'm not sure how to rank these. Vegasir. Monkey King is doing good in PvP. Alright, hold on. Does anyone else need to move? Probably not. Alright, what I think the thing is... Phoenix up? No, Phoenix down. Phoenix way down. Phoenix is not a PvP hero. Lind needs a lot of help. He's gonna stay here. Alright, hold on. I need to redefine the tier tiers. All right. Yeah, Monkey King does not deserve to be S. All right. Um, fits into most PV teams as filler, but may not help significantly against high-end teams. Is that fair? That basically means that you should never get out of S tier. Sig above Brind? Yeah, I can believe that. Hey, Stanley. This order is not set. I'm still working on this. I need to figure out how to... Uh... Sizo and PvP? Terrible. A good Bryn team... My, my WPM is like 90-something? 90 95? I don't know. It's in the 90s. Um... Oh. Okay, let's see here. Um. I'm not going to talk about early game. Early game is not worth talking about. A good Bryn Sig team versus... I, I mean, the problem is Bryn is so random now. 
but also she she gets broken so easily like right now she's broken with who is it somebody's passive isn't working right now with Bryn I can't remember who but she breaks something again too be very careful choosing from here without a very very solid strategy on team synergy how about that Bryn hits only four yeah um, works oh whoops but don't focus on these hero oops these heroes at oh my god where's my spelling today as they do not perform well at the highest level in pvp Uh, Bryn can miss, yes. But she doesn't miss that much. Mm. This... I mean, the problem is that this is, the problem is that this is so, Bryn Sig broke the order. Oh, I'm tired. Now is not a good time to test my hit, my typing, lit, lit, uh, my typing speed. Hi, Joff. Jeff? Jeff. Chessia is also in the S tier, though. Two Brins is not good in PvP, no. Doesn't perform that well, apparently. And Brin can be... Brin can actually be locked down by Sigurd, because if Brin never fires her skill, then RNG can break her completely. And if she never gets to fire her skill, then she just can die very quickly. Uh, okay, so if th I need to figure out how I want to, the thing is, before we get into actually ordering the heroes, I want to redefine the tiers in a way that I can work with. Bef I'm not working on the heroes right now. I'm very much, I need to decide how I want to rank them because... If we are ranking them, we are trying to make sure that they are in a in a very definitive tier level. Different, significantly different tier level from each other. I want it to mean something when you've chosen an A hero versus an S hero. And that is where it gets tricky. Because when you look at double veg teams in PvP, they're really annoying. With luck, they can go off, but they fail a lot. So, the thing is, when you look at Valkyrie, by definition, if you don't have Bryn Sig Kurt, Valkyrie does amazing. She really does do good in early game and against non-overpowered heroes. Like, you cannot deny that. She does do that good. But when you try to take her to a higher level, she doesn't. She completely is gone when you actually want to do good in pvp so you need to think about this in terms of remember it's not just the high level people that are choosing from this list it's people from all levels from from newbies to to pros and i need to be very clear in saying if you are choosing someone like valkyrie it is because you were unable to choose brin sig skull Hodor, Viv, Kurt, one of these. I want it I want it to be very clear that when you break out of the S tier, like you are significantly at a disadvantage against the people that did manage to stay within this tier. I want that to be clear. And I want to 
define that as how the tiers work, at least for PvP. Okay. So with that being said, now we'll move into actually ordering people, which is Azathoth definitely falls. Azathoth definitely falls. Um, demo, you can always build whatever you want. Remember that with Phoenix Stones, you can always convert someone later. Hey, chimp. So, for, like, early PvP, these are still, like, strong heroes. Chessia works well, but... She is very squishy, so it helps a lot to have her with Skuld or Vivienne. Aegina, okay, Aegina has definitely falled off, fallen off compared to Chessia. See, Mike, I don't agree with that. With one Vivian, no, you don't need Azathoth. With two Vivians, if you don't have Ragnarok, Azathoth helps. But against one Vivian, not really. Better endgame? The way that I the the way that I've always thought of it is Valkyrie is better defensive support, Lorelei is better offensive support. So if you are trying to burst them down into oblivion at the beginning, Lorelei is better. If you know that you cannot get those kills at the beginning and you need to survive a little bit longer to be able to get those kills, Valkyrie is better. So they don't they fill slightly different holes. Uh, Trollcraft, it's Lionheart. Okay, so... Ripper... Okay, well, Ripper is already A, so we're going with that. Yig, Yig, I'm gonna move down. Monkey King will move to the top of A. Uh, Jerky, I don't think that Dots will become more dominant. Burst damage, as long as burst damage exists and can kill people or disable them from the beginning, Dots will not be as good. It takes someone like Hodor. Mike, this tier list is not meant to address very specific team options this is meant to address the vast majority of players who will not have double pets with heal stats vivian's defense is not mentioned in column j you, you, what column j is her skin stats which does not have which, as we can see, there is no defense on Vivian's skin, so that's not gonna... Yeah, that's why it's not mentioned. Aegina... Aegina definitely is not as good as Chessia. Okay, so now that we're we're starting to now that you guys understand how the how the breakdown between S and A works, now let's start working on very specific on moving heroes around. Okay, so Aegina definitely does need Hodor to work, so we can move Aegina down. So B is actually Convert an Undead is Spider or Cursed One. So the thing about this is... We have to specify... Uh, Crozy One, you can reset pets for free. It just costs you 10% of the gold you used. You don't lose any pet food. Um, so here's the way that this works, which I'm not sure I like. Is that... S is where obviously you want to stay. If you can't get S, you want A. But B is not what you choose in 
as an alternative to A, B is like special. B is like they're S tier with help. And so I don't want to... The, the thing is, when you look at this tier list, I have to figure out a way to to specify that, which is that B does not mean that they're worse than A. It means that they are harder to use than A, but can be better. And therefore, I it's like... Oh, it's very tricky. Okay, so... Um, So in that case here, we'll have to say, but with nah, the right combo, much, oh my God, my typing is not good today. Strong, no, that's not how I want to say this. Um, I don't want to switch that because I don't want someone to choose Valkyrie over Ultima. Or, I mean, I don't want someone to choose Ultima over Valkyrie unless they know what they're doing. Uh, Willie, I don't know how the heal ones help. I don't know how good those are. One of them could be okay if you use Vivienne, but since you're not guaranteed to have Vivienne with the same pet every time, it's safer to go for dodge, speed, hit rate, stuff like that. Um... But so, by definition, a tier list, it's uptime, Joshua. By definition, a tier list is a rank, and to take people into a situational tier kind of takes them outside of the specific tiers. And so you have to know how to read a tier list that is multi-dimensional rather than a straight, definitively one is better than the rest. See, Brian, that's what I'm going for. But I know that nobody's going to read that. Actually, I don't know if uptime works on YouTube. It might not. It might only work on Twitch. There we go. One hour, two minutes. Um, better than A tier in the right. When tuned correctly with the right with good synergy. <sighs> Do not use otherwise. Um, Mike, that's not true. If they have Vivienne Skull, Chessia will outdo Aegina every single time. Or if Chessia has energy and a, just like a little bit of defense, like even just Skull is almost enough. Okay, so then that means this needs to be even bigger. Like, the thing is, people need to read this, and they don't. They, they basically... Nobody reads this, and so I need to put this in a way that can work... So the reason that um, Hodor doesn't need Aegina though, Hodor can work with some other, some other people. Aegina is good with Hodor. So the thing is, BT 
I want people to go, oh, I can't build the S tier, let's go down, and they, they then they build the A tier, and that's the right move. The right move is that they go into A tier before they look at B tier, and that's that's what I need to do this. Remember that the hero positions are not final. Material, you'd be surprised. You see all of this text up here? Nobody reads any of it. Nobody reads any of it. They're like, oh, there's Tears of the Goddess here, but what about Star Shards? Star Shards isn't on your tier list. Is it good? And I'm just like, gah! Yeah, see, Jerky, nobody reads that. Like, seriously, nobody reads anything. So I'm going to make... I'm trying to make this as newbie-friendly as I can. Hmm, okay, okay. So you're saying have another column for combo heroes. Hmm, okay, okay. We can work with that. Oh, actually, you know what? What if we do this? What if we do this? Uh, this doesn't work anymore. Now it's too fat. That doesn't work. Maybe if I do this. Okay, okay, we'll do this. And then we'll leave C tier as C tier because nobody cares about C tier. Mars B. Mars has been B. Uh, okay, now where do I put a combo column? The problem with that then is... Okay. Okay, so... Dr Mars... Mars could be C. I don't know. Mars is like right on the edge. I'm gonna change the entire B tier to situational. Uh, demo, the reason is because she can miss. And also because, actually, that's really her main reason. She can miss. And her whole thing was stunning clerics at the very beginning of battle. And now that she can't do that because of the bubble, there's she has no big thing. I think I'm going to remove the notes. Keep B and put it below situational tier. Oh, that's fair. That means I need a new color for B. I'm not I'm not done with heroes, so hold on, hold on. Let me let me fix up the tiers before I move the heroes. Okay. Okay. Okay, then that case. Come on. Okay. Um... I mean, I understand that it does make it messier, and I know I... You know what? Then let's do it this way. Let's just do this.
Let's just do this. Let's just go with, um... T3 for Vivienne is the control resist one. What do you think, BIOS? The debt laugh is such I'm not I haven't moved heroes yet. I am I'm still I'm still I'm still messing with things. It's good to have Vivienne faster than Scold. Viv Scold only needs to be faster than like Kurt fail your damage really vivienne is generally fast enough to get ahead of most heroes you want vivienne to get her defense going as soon as possible okay so uh in that case actually we can add b tier here So we'll add a B tier and then go with that. What do you think? Uh... Nope. Reaper's not even rare. There. Okay. Hmm. But because Aegina is situational, Phoenix is a better choice. Even just fr even just from that question, Phoenix is the better choice. Uh, Qua, that, I tried that. That's too hard. I haven't, I'm not done with this, so we are still working on this. I absolutely if if it's like an early T4 I absolutely would recommend Phoenix first. I I absolutely would. If it's like their 15th T4 or even like their 7th T4 if they're still asking what they need after they've built 7, why are they looking at a tier list? Uh Proyecto, yeah, this is PVP. It's not done yet. If it's their third T4, I will recommend Phoenix. If it's their seventh, they should be smart enough to make that choice on their own. They should not be needing a tier list when it's their seventh. This is for people that are early, building early heroes. Um, Mike, Vegas here gives great team buffs. I'm remember this is uh remember this is the heroes are not done yet. I'm still working on the tiers. I need to put the tiers in a better way. I I haven't finished moving heroes around. As far as skins Yeah, okay. Let's remove the skin column. We don't need it in both places. Uh we'll call it Mm. 
Okay. Bail. Bail doesn't really do anything. Best two pets for PvP is probably Edison. No, Pasteur and Edison. Actually, Pasteur and Einstein. But if you ask that, you are asking it knowing that. You are knowing that you are going to get an answer like that. Bail with Hodor a bit. Mm. Yes, but not the top. I'm going to put the best combo heroes because if I listed all of them, I mean, I'm going to list way too many. Bail with Hodor is like a afterthought. Red Alert 2. Oh, that's Command and Conquer. I haven't played Red Alert 2. I played Red Alert 1. Okay, so let me add synergy first and then we'll move heroes, right? Uh, okay, Azathoth. So here is where it matters a bit. Oh yeah, you can't see, huh? Uh, hold up. How can I show this? How can I show this? Oh, here we go. There we go. That worked. Um, Qua... Oops, let me move this here. That column is right here if you were looking at this tier list you would know this is right here do i want to zoom out no i don't need to zoom out this is fine any specific red skins no not right now all right let's see so chess so, so I'm actually most worried about these right here, because these are the situational heroes. L Lore doesn't have synergy with anybody. Hi, Smokey. Ah, fine, I'll spell it correctly. That's not really fair because everybody synergizes with Lore Scold. Uh, demo, that's a good question. Nobody knows. I I think they're gonna have to come up with something new for that someday, eventually. Uh, any burst hero. Mulan synergizes with Chessia. No, I don't think I need to remove the talent columns because most of these are good defaults. These are good if you if you're not looking to build a specific team, these are the Yeah, that's true. If it's S plus, it doesn't matter. Um Lorelei is not that good, so she can be like down here i don't know she's she's good for early players that don't have access to the best stuff the thing of Sig sigurd synergizes with everybody so and anyway this is not the the hero order is not correct brin or arwin who does arwin need arwin I'm not going to list anything on Arwen because we know what Arwen does. Same thing with Wolf. Hijacked. I mean, Chessie is here. You can look at this tier list yourself. 
Um, the ones not to mention are the S plus. Skuld, Viv, Bryn, Sig. Alright, I will fix up the notes at a later time. <coughs> Detlaf. Everyone needs Viv and Skuld. That's kind of why it's tough to... That's kind of why it's tough to... Uh, like, if I'm going to put that, it goes in everybody's. Alright. Skuld actually can be obsoleted. It's very sad, but Skuld can be obsoleted. And it's happened... It's... It's starting to happen, so be very, be very careful about that. All right, let me see here. Watchman is he's good for like void boss because you can't heal and his shield counts but other than that he's impossible to use without like some godly tier combos a triple ultima team can destroy everybody before skull does anything double ultima tends to make heroes fire before skull and already kind of makes makes it possible to kill them without using your own scold. Do we need Verthandi here? I mean, anybody that raises his attack counts as synergizing with Hodor. If you use an Ultima Ho Hodor Verthandi team, it could be very interesting. Uh, I feel like Early on, before pets, Pogi was making that team. Uh, Vigia, I don't really feel like that's needed because you've got tank and you've got dodge, so... I mean, what else are you using Mulan for? Uh, da, 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 da. All right, so we've got that. I think, so does everyone agree that these kind of tiers work? Outs, the heroes are not ordered. Let's get doing that next. Mike, I've tried Werewolf and he's very unreliable. Very, very unreliable. Because he only drains on regular attack. So if you're using your... your like multiple mythic tears of the goddesses and werewolf is firing a lot he, his usefulness is like 30 percent um mark that's up to you most people have converted valkyrie by now mars has not gotten any better no willie i have no idea pogi's not on my discord and i don't think he cares enough to be working on anything anymore as far as I'm concerned, Pogi is ready to quit. He may or may not agree, but I mean, I feel like that one's coming. All right, so let's start working on the actual tiers. Bale, Veg, uh, Veg has fallen a little bit. He's still good, but when you can just tank with Bryn Sig, you don't really need Veg as much. In which case, like, I could just turn the whole thing into an S tier and not have an S minus. Liang Freya is still really good in Planet Trial. If you know for sure you don't need her anymore, make sure you're doing the right thing.
sig tank if you if you're trying to tank with sigurd he needs support sigurd has good dodge and with like a vivian scold he stays alive for a long time brin tank works as well Mars just doesn't stun enough for me. I think the problem is he needs to stay alive too long to do well. And he doesn't synergize enough. He misses his stun way too much. I've, I've seen him miss all his stuns in PvP way too many times. Like, he's, he's ruined his position for me. And I tried. I, I used Mars for a long time, but I just couldn't get him to be reliable you don't think vivienne should be s plus that is a hard sell because we know that everybody struggles against vivienne we know she's amazing early we know she's amazing late game and she may be obsoleted by very specific combos but it's hard to do worse than her I understand that you can combo around her, but that kind of breaks into the situational. So once you've broken into situational, that's when you start phasing out even this tier. Because it's possible to make high tier teams without Skull, without Brin. It's possible. It's totally possible. You can do it without Hodor. Totally possible. So for it to do, for you to do away with Vivienne kind of fits into that thing uh nick the tiro order isn't done yet okay so remember i do have notes and these are gonna these are gonna change remember that she's not the same as brin sig she's below them these are ordered they are absolutely ordered and i need to have that Order matters in this. Okay, so Kurt... Kurt can actually come down. Kurt can come down. Does Hodor ruin Phoenix's passive? Yes. He takes off their burn. Should you change birth with Hodor? Yes. Okay. Pets tier list is kind of a waste of effort because they have they have such different uses that they cannot be compared to each other. I would I give up Azathoth pretty fast, but okay, fine. Uh, Caleb, that's probably just because you don't know how to use Mulan. But also Mulan is also not good in PvE. Or no, she is she's good against Void Boss. Wow. Alright, Abishek. Short answer, yes. Long answer, yes. That's about all I can say on that. If you want to ask me why, I don't know why. Just because you should. It feels like you should. Okay, Envision, mm, Subaru, the list is in all video descriptions. It is in all video descriptions. You can go, you can scroll down right now. It's in there. You can, you can look at it yourself. This is on Google Sheets, so you can look at it anywhere you are. It's on the internet. It is free access to everyone. All right. Hijacked Kurt got obsoleted so hard. 
Hodor obsoleted Kurt single-handedly so hard. Kurt, if anything, Kurt could be the one S minus. Who else could be S minus? If I'm gonna make an S minus, I can put Monkey King there. now <sighs> do I move Viv I I just can't agree with Vivienne being an S plus or out of S plus I can't Debt laugh. Actually, in PvP, uh, the problem is I can't add a B tier without putting situational below it. So this is, I feel like I can't get too much more definitive than this. Somia Deep, Aegina needs help. She needs Skuld, Vivi, she needs Skuld and she needs Hodor. Hmm. If I move Vivienne into S, then a lot... All of these, these two are going to move down. And it's going to look like this. It's going to look, it's going to look like this. You would change them to A and A's to B's. Well, we added S minus, which is kind of the same thing. Chessia, Chessia does need help a little bit. So we'll move her here, let's say. Remember that for if you choose to specialize in PvP, Chessia is way better than Kurt. Um, so Marcus, the whole point of this tier list, which I guess you're not reading, is that situational becomes better than A when paired correctly. So when Aegina is paired with Hodor and then also Skuld, everybody uses Skuld, she becomes better than A. That applies to all of these. They can be better than A with the good combo. Yig is very unreliable. Very, very unreliable. Okay, Freya got better with Veg. I don't really like that. Honestly, these two are just like... Det and Arwen A-? minus. Mm, no, I can't do that. They're, they just fail so much of the time in PvP. Like, their situational is even more required than Aegina Ultima because they don't have a fixed combo that makes them good. They just... They are so in good in such small situations. Uh, I can just... I can just take them to... Oops. I'll just move them here. Come on. Come on! Let's just move them out. 
We'll just put them here. Like, Arwen's really good early. If you have a Sig, you're not looking at this A tier, honestly. Yig, I just... I really can't think of a situation when I want Yig. I really can't. I, I, I really just cannot think about Yig. Um, Crozy, if you go to the pets yourself, you can, oops, you can see them yourself. So if you go to the pet and go to potential and click on the potential, you can see all of them and their ranges. So you can see them all here. Choose yourself what you want. I mean, Bios, that's not even fair. That's just not fair. That's basically saying that this is how the tier list should look. This is basically what you're telling me. This is what, this is what you want. I think this is what you're trying to tell me. So, I mean, if this is what you want the tier list to look like, then let's just do this. I That's why you can't... You can't be so, like, harsh on heroes. I understand you don't think that they should be ranked highly in your eyes, but what about all the newbies? They can't build... They can't build Bryn Sig. They can't get Skulled. They can't... They, they gotta build someone. Like... Oops, uh-oh. Can I not undo that? Okay. Whew, I can undo it. It's... It's... Like, if you don't have access to these heroes, what are you going to build? Are you going to are you gonna recommend that they stay at 9 stars forever until they happen to stumble into 9 copies of Brynn? Because everyone will quit. Everybody will quit if that's what you're telling them to do. If you say, don't build any of these, they won't- they have- they literally have nobody to build. They have to have some transitional heroes. You can't start from newbie to god tier. Yeah, like Vandad says, they will quit. If you tell them that every single hero you have is trash, don't build any of them, I would quit. I would quit the moment you told me that. I would absolutely quit. Instead, what we're trying to do is give people a priority list of what to start with these heroes arguably are slightly easier to obtain or easier to use than than these with the exception of probably just vivian and i guess veg then like there's it's there's just no way that a new player has access to an s plus tier team it's just not possible. So, I mean... Um, okay, good convert fodder. Is that what I want to say? Uh, okay. Um, Vidya, I haven't finished sorting heroes yet. Hi, Amino. This is... I'm still... We're still hammering out what the S tier and all of that b means. Okay, I'm... You have a very good point. Olivia is coming to Queen Junk. So I would... Honestly, for all he all players, any of these heroes works great as an early T4. Early, like, first to fourth T4, I would happily tell people to make these. 
because they won't have anything better. Uh, Ranga, probably yes. Detlaf, I'm not sure. Well, okay, yeah, if you're making Arwen, then you don't need Detlaf, and that's a great option. Lorelei, Yig, Detlaf, Lindberg, Chessia, Bale, that's like a 4 out of 10. The reason that Vrithandi wants energy is because if you're using her as support, her ener using energy on her makes her give true damage to the whole team. So she can be used as a team buffer, but she also can be used as a tank. Okay, well Marco is the first person to not read the what the tiers mean, so we'll go with that. Uh, okay, so that being said, we'll start with Marco. Situational tier is better than A tier when tuned correctly. That's what it means. If Aegina is built right, fine. If she's an early hero with no defense, she dies. She dies very quickly. She's not even super fast if you think about it. She can be... Like, a full-speed Lorelei already can hurt her. Pasteur hurts her. Pasteur? Pasture? Okay. Uh, so, Phoenix. Phoenix above Valkyrie. Valkyrie. Uh, let's move Themis down. Let's move Themis down here. Okay, we'll go with that. Um, Arrow, adding more tiers to this, I think, is too complicated. I think having them... Um, I'm going to work on notes later. All these notes, I'll work on them later. I don't want to do that now because that will, that will never end. So, are people happy with how I've sorted this? Phoenix deserve S minus? No. Phoenix has no place in strong teams. At the highest level, you will never see a Phoenix do well. Like anybody that has made a super strong team is doing it without Phoenix. Uh, I think I'm pretty happy with this order for A. So this one I think is okay. A hijacked Kurt has been on his way out for so long. Arwen wrecks him, Sigurd wrecks him, Hodor wrecks him. Even Azathoth hurt him. Like, there was just a lot of heroes that just ruined him. Marco, that's... Marco, I suggest you explore this tier list because all of those questions are answered. Actually, I, maybe it's not. Uh, let's see. Ranked according to, over, to full T14. Use as a guide for general build order with an emphasis on PvE, but with heroes, but... with heroes that specialize in PvE but are also usable in PvP. You... Um, 
I guess I don't need this entire line. Something like that. See, people that are looking for heroes to build should be looking at the general list. If you're looking at the PvP list, um, this is not this is not what you want. Okay, so I actually don't even need this, honestly. We'll just delete this. Just delete this. Okay, so we'll keep this bold here. You know what? Let's make this one bold to, or bigger too. Let's make this one bold. Okay, so we'll go with that. So I think I'm generally happy with where heroes have landed here. With the idea that anyone in situational can be better than anyone. Well, Wolf Rider. Even Wolf Rider is very hard to use in PvP. But I feel like if you made a stun team around him, he could be really strong. He has more, he has certainly more potential for stun teams with buffs than like Mars. Jerky, nobody reads the fine print. Nobody, nobody reads the fine print. And Vandette, I mean, having Hester be buffed would be nice. They could do a lot of buffing with all this tier. They really could. Wow, why is Scarlet so tiny? Okay, now let's move on to the last tier list. Actually, before I do that, where did my last updated... Oh, you can't see this, but last updated 2008 11 uh, organized after pet update we'll call it that right we'll say that and then we'll put that here Oh my god. Okay, so we'll go with that. Megasis? Is that supposed to be a thing? Alright. So let's look at pit at ye Okay, so we're gonna remove Yig out because Yig is not that good. Oops. Oh my god. We'll move that here. So all of the the formatting is going to get the formatting is going to get messed up. So we'll mess we'll deal with that later. What? We'll mess with formatting later. So the... Monkey King, Monkey King can be... Okay. Uh, Subaru, if you can make it work, it's fine, but those teams are very difficult to build. Yig is very mediocre for peaks. Monkey King's way better. I'll reformat all the lining and stuff like that at a later time. Alright, let's see here. Uh... Nameless King is not A. Oops. 
Sometimes it lets me select them, sometimes it just moves them around. Minotaur is better than Yig. I kind of agree with that. I don't like Yig. Ah, I'll work with the formatting later. Hi, Kozor. Alright, so Corvin. No, Kodor is better than Corvin. Honestly, Corvin comes down here. Hodor definitely moves up. Clerics. I feel like this works for Clerics. Nameless King can come down here. He's good damage. Watchman is hard to use. Watchman doesn't do good in all teams. Alright, so Arwen definitely goes to S tier. Akash comes down to A. Um... Shaman Assassin honestly comes down, Amy comes down, Spider comes down, Sizo comes down. Oops, gosh, why does it do that? I just want to select, not move. Alright, I just want to select, not move. Ah, stupid Google Sheets. Okay. Oh, that's too many. You think... Mm. There is no merge here, you idiots. Okay, fine. Honestly, Lone Hero comes down too. So in that case, we're just going to remove this, remove this, remove this, remove this. Honestly, we can remove Lone Hero, we can remove Shaman Assassin. Remember that nothing is sorted. There is, this is all moving around. Nothing is, I'm just shifting things and I'll clean it up later. Okay, let's see here. Quite honestly, I hate Phoenix and Peaks. Azathoth high A, yeah, okay, I can see that. Uh, we're gonna remove, you, you, yeah, okay. Let's move Shoot down here. Let's move Rulia, oops. Let's move Rulia down here. Sizo, I'm keeping in B tier. He can do good, but he fails too much. All right, so Brent, yeah, this is solid. This is solid. Honestly, I'll move Phoenix down here. I don't. Shud may not even be a B. Shud may actually be deleted. Same with Hester. I might actually just delete her. Shude rarely ever works to me. Actually, Hester doesn't work. I'm going to delete Hester. You know, Josh, that's a good question. Wait. His 60% shared is only that he takes the damage later. Doesn't that not do anything to Rathandi and all that?
Yeah, we'll... Okay. So I think I'll keep these here. We're going to remove Grant. Mm. I'm going to remove Anubis. Because nobody uses Anubis. Uh, Joshi, I feel like Yig's passive doesn't do damage to the team. It's only to himself. I'm going to remove Tiger King. Wolf Rider actually doesn't do that good. You know what? I'm going to delete Wolf. The problem is that Wolf doesn't come with team buffs on his skill. It's only his own stun. So if he increased damage based on his own stun, or when he stuns people, I mean, I think his skill doesn't add extra damage. That's what I'm trying to say. So he does good for himself, but his team synergy is minimal. Ripper, yeah, okay, I can move Ripper out. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I mean, he stays on this tier. He's okay. Nothing special. Arwen is A. Mm. Arwen can make or break your day so fast. Two. What? Wait, what kind of chicken are we talking? Wings? Oh, like six? Six, that's it? I don't know. Just make a bunch. Hi, Sarab. Ripper better than Arwen? Honestly, I've seen Ripper fail more often than Arwen. So my question is... Arwen is more consistent than Arwen. Should you convert Valk to Viv? Yes. I just want to know if I should even this out and move someone out of... I would always take Arwen over Ripper. Arwen can ruin their day so fast. Especially if you make her... Sp if you put speed on her and she weakens someone before they can fire, you can ruin their day. Uh, Tack Deer, good thing that pets don't mean a thing in peaks, huh? Move Monkey King down a bit? No, well, I mean... Actually, you know what? I'm gonna move Valkyrie down. Valkyrie doesn't belong in S. So this evens it out a little bit. 4 in S. Okay, fine. I can move Arwen down. Fine. Uh, Willy Sigskin is pretty good, but I don't know how required it is. Uh, Srikant, I'm just gonna tell you Detlaf. Or, I'm uh, sorry, not Detlaf. I'm just gonna tell you Bryn. Alright, so do you guys agree with kind of this then? What does Paladin do as tank? He tanks. He is so buff as tank. He's so buff. Okay. So I don't know why anybody needs to be bold, to be honest. Nobody needs to be bold. I'm going to undo all the bold because I forgot why I chose bold. I don't know why there are bolds. Oh, powerhouses. No? Oh, I don't know why I chose bolds. Okay. Hodor is so amazing. And Viv, I don't think I put stars on because if she doesn't have, like, energy and speed, she does... Oh, come on! Screw your stupid merge. I didn't merge anything. Stupid. 
Okay, rag counters paladin. I mean, rag is rag counters a lot of heroes. <laughs> Uh, Terry, that's because Veg sucks and peaks. Uh, Badass Sangi, no. I would not pull Miracle Eyes for... For, uh, Valkyrie. Val Ragnarok is overkill for peaks. Gaia Bulga is good enough. You don't need a hundred death break. Lorelei, Kurt... Good thing Lorelei or good thing none of these three categories are mages. I can't sort everything at once. So how do these how do these look? Hodor is really good in peaks. Veg? No. Veg goes in trash. Veg absolutely goes in the trash. Okay. So something like this. I think this is a nice solid lineup. Convert new hero. What? Convert new hero into what? Why would you convert? Vivienne also clutches. This one is tricky. Vivienne or Drow kind of depends on the team. Vivienne plays better support. Aiden, I can move Aiden out. I can put Aiden here, that's fine. So, it's gonna- I guess something like this. Oh, my- my border! Alright, so this is a nice more... I- I feel like these two are side by side. Badass, how would I know? We don't know if the new hero is good or not. Aiden above Saizo? Okay, fine. Alright. Uh, let's swap Sigurd and Aegina. How is Phoenix B tier? The thing about Phoenix is that Phoenix is very, very hard to maximize. Oh, come on. Stupid thing. Phoenix is either, is too slow to use speed it's and too fast to use energy. Or too slow to use energy and too fast to use speed. So it's very hard to maximize him when you have clerics. Oh, gosh. Uh... Okay, there we go. Uh, Abjit, nobody knows. Okay, so we are going to delete all of these heroes that just are not useful anymore like Martin we are going to delete honestly we'll just delete anything 
I'm never going to recommend any of this stuff to people. It's going to look something like that. It's, it's, it's gonna look, it's kind of a massacre for mages, to be honest. It's kind of a massacre for mages. 